What's cracking, people? Angelic Mayhem here. So, I have accomplished the goal that I set forward this morning of moving all of my vassals out here to one location. And in addition to that, I am now at, as you can see, 296 vassals. So, at 300, some very exciting things are going to happen. So, let's begin by upgrading this building. And in order to do that, by the way, I had to build some additional clothing shops. Apparently, everybody, everybody in the city, buck naked, okay? I was horrifically deficient in my clothing, uh, in my clothing situation. So, now that I have corrected that, I can now begin upgrading these pioneer residences to become vassals. So, with the click of a button, one more vassal. And now when we look up here, Vassals 305, and we get our reward. Uh, a little bit of stone, a little bit of gold, and 30 stars. I still don't know what stars are, but we will find out at some point. And congratulations, your settlement has grown to the size of a town and houses the amazing amount of 300 vassals. A great day for the Empire. So, what does this mean for me in terms of the game as a whole? Well, it means that I have four new uh, possible missions to go through. I cannot explore yet because I have not reached Small Burrow, so that still has to wait. I would really like to open this up, but clearly that's going to take some time. And so let's find out what we get here. All right, so large town. I need 500 vassals. That's our next mile marker. Uh, provision house. Produces useful items that enhance your gameplay. Own one provision house. All right. Treasury. That sounds exciting because that means I can own more than 100 gold, which has been a tricky limit in terms of being able to put down stone roads and things like that. And own one tavern. Taverns are very important for vassals. And to maximize the number of vassals that you have in, your, in each vassal house, which can hold up to 15, but usually cap out at like 12, you have to put in a tavern. And they're, the taverns are just like churches. They have to follow around wherever your vassals are. You're going to need to have a tavern. So that's another reason why it was really good that I brought all of my vassals to one location. I only need maybe one or two taverns in order to cover them all. All right. So here's our tavern. And it requires 40 wood, 70 stone, which is pretty steep, and 29,000 gold. So we're going to start with tavern. It's got a really wide... Um, sphere of influence. Actually, one tavern right here, which does not affect my lumberjack hut, will cover this entire area. So that's fantastic. Own one tavern. Huzzah. And when I click on Vassal, you can see Entertainment is now covered. So that's good. Ooh, new player level. Level 5. Go for me. Keep going again, even higher levels. It was a provision house. That's what it was. All right. Enables the construction of powerful island items. So where would we put this? Well, I feel very strongly about leaving it down here. Let me see. Will this rotate? Uh, yeah, it will, actually. All right. Well, you know what? I'll leave it right here for now, and then I'll figure out where to put it later. One provision house. Hooray. Expensive. And we have cake which appears to be something that we can manufacture here. And then salad, which I assume would require apples, since it has an apple on it, and also requires 500 merchants. Now, merchants is the next class after vassal, so it's going to be a while before we start tossing people salads. Now, the way that a provision house works is that you click on the item that you want the provision house to provide. In this case, it's going to be cake. And then using the slider right here, you can determine how much of that item and how long it will take to produce that item you would like the provision house to spend time doing. So in this case, I clicked on cake, and then this requires eight uh, bags of flour, and then it will produce one cake every 10 minutes. So that's where we're at at the moment, and I would assume I have to click on produce, and then it will produce one cake in 10 minutes. What's wrong with my goats? Efficiency? What's going on? Oh, I'm full. That's why. All right. Well, we'll get to that. 
So the, the benefits of cake are dubious at best, but we'll start making them now and then we'll see what we can do with them. So that's a look at the Vassal upgrade when you hit 300. Uh, we now have a provision house and we have a tavern. And when I click on the tavern, it just costs money and provides entertainment. So that is the limit to what it does there. And if I go out here to the Pioneer Residence, you can see that they have no entertainment here. And they do not participate in the tavern situation at all. So you don't have to worry about putting taverns everywhere, just wherever you put your vassals. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this in the future. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I'll see you next time.